What's going on YouTube, Realty Doc here with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the shifter cable bushings from Hybrid Racing. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all already knew I already got these, and you know, a few other parts. What I'm doing, minus a short shifter, uh, shifter cables, and then a master and slave uh, cylinder for the clutch, which I do want to do one day, but right now I can't really afford to do it right now. So right now I'm just trying to do little cost-effective things to help improve the overall feel of the clutch and shifting. I'm hoping this plus the other things I got for the car will accumulatively work together and will improve the uh, the entire feel of the transmission and the shifter. So the walk around video I did, you know, a few videos back. One thing I forgot to mention about the RSX is that it functions well. Although I did notice something a little bit off about the transmission. Every now and then the third gear would either pop out when I'm trying to shift into it or to a lesser degree grind. So I'm going to be doing little things here and there to help improve how the shifter feels, improve the gear engagement, just, you know, overall upgrading some little things here and there. All right, so let's go outside to the RSX and put these on. A few moments later. Oh. Sister dropping off the dogs. Hey. Like and subscribe. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I told Kinsley that she needed to say that. Okay. <laughs> shifter cables are right there. And upon further, closer look, they look like they're starting to crack, like the, the rubber. They're starting to harden and crack. To get to it, it's a lot easier if you remove the air intake and whatnot. So that way you could get to it. I already did that off camera. It might help to mark these cables with some kind of mark to let you know like that side is up. Just so you know the orientation and whatnot. Let's get this done. It's hot out there, these damn mosquitoes. All right, first off, I'm gonna use a needle nose for these cotter pins on a stock one. All right, the old cotter pins are out. You can throw these away. Hybrid Racing provides better ones. Now for these actual stock bushings, grab the cable, get a screwdriver, put it in, and rock it back and forth. Rock it back and forth until it pops out by itself. That first one out, the smaller one, I thought it was going to come out like from the top, but I, I worked it to where it came out from the bottom. It was easier that way. Now the bigger one. Eventually. Okay. All right, the bigger one was a little bit more of a, of a pain in the ass, but I was able to kind of just push it out from the top. So these are going bye-bye. By the way, you should definitely wear gloves when working on your car, but I couldn't find mine for some reason, so I just said, you know, whatever. The new one, the big one, it's uh, this one, it should be facing up with this on the bottom. The, uh, the, the uh, it's like a snap ring kind of thing. Fits in there perfectly. All right. So that little lock ring, all you gotta do is start one side and just work your way, work it in, in a circle. You have to go kind of like do a loop on the bottom of this. It's not that hard. But now we can put this on. Oof. And then add the new cotter pin that they provide. Nice. All right, now on to the smaller one. Yeah. 
Yep, got it in. Secured. Oh, the cotter pin. Top it all off. Okay, there it is, guys. Looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna go for a test drive, basically, just to make sure it's working and if it even, you know, makes a discernible difference. All right, so, okay. All right. Okay, I think it's locked first. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a more discernible feel when it shifts into here. Okay. Well, let's try it on the road, though. I'm just driving around the block, not doing anything too crazy. I'm wearing flip flops and I hate driving manual with flip flops. It's a really small difference, but it's noticeable enough if you drive the car that has certain parts, in this case worn out uh, cable bushings, you could just feel that small difference. And yep, third third popped out just then. I'm really hoping it's not a bad third third gear uh, synchro because that, that is some work that I don't want to really do right now, you know? So I'm kind of hoping these little, small little changes will help. Like I'm really hoping that it not going to third is just because of the worn out slop of the, short, of the OEM shifter. That's what I'm hoping, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> it's probably a third gear synchro issue. But if that's the case, then I probably won't even like mess with it because I want an LSD transmission and I might as well just swap out the whole transmission at that point. As far as these hybrid racing shifter cable bushings go, they're pretty nice. They're pretty good. I definitely feel a discernible difference. It's a little bit more crisp when going into gear for the most part. I got a few more things that I want to do so stay tuned for videos on that. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and share this video and uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.